Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Windsor Medals. My name's Paul. I really appreciate you watching these videos. On previous videos, I've done some videos on how to sew ribbon bars onto uniforms. These have been male uniforms. So I thought today, as I've got a female's uniform in, I would show you how to sew ribbon bars onto the female uniforms by the way this is a future army dress uniform females uniform might as well just quickly show you it before i show you the ribbon bars so i've just put some chevrons on this uniform full corporal chevrons these they've got four buttons going down the center on the buttons they've got the royal army medical corps motif on there there's two pockets at the bottom of the uniform on the females uniform they don't have the pockets here like the male ones on the collars they have two collar dogs on there the um the writing translates to at the bottom fateful in adversity and there's a serpent that's entwined around a rod this rod was wielded by a greek god then you've got a, a nice laurel wreath around the outside and then the queen's crown at the top there's two shoulder straps obviously on the shoulders with two buttons on there as well with the same motif oh that's a, a good clear picture of the motif and the button there so these are really nice uniforms are really nicely made i have no trouble with um working with them they have a nice infantry cuff on there the old two dress back in the day, I just had a plain cuff, nothing special. So I really like these infantry cuffs on these uniforms. So basically, how to put the ribbon bars onto a female uniform. In the past, it's been quite a conundrum because they're very difficult to get on straight. They often look sloped and not straight on the uniform. This one I've just put on is straight. So the way I measure to do these uniforms is from the point on the collar here I do a line across I measure down two centimeters and then do a straight horizontal line across and I find that's the best position for the ribbon bars to go on and the ribbon bars just go below that chalk mark there and they're nice and straight as you'll see in the video that I've done um, to sew it on the best way of doing these whether you're putting threes on there twos or fours it's all the same way of doing it if you, if you watch keep watching this video is when you start sewing them keep stopping and hanging the uniform up on a hanger and just checking that it's straight and if it's just sloping down a bit, then you can just make sure you slope it back up. Or if it's sloping too high, you could just get it all nice and straight. If you keep stopping and starting, it's best to take more time on it to get it straight than just rush it. And then it'd be slightly off at an angle. Also, when you're measuring to put the ribbon bars on, just make sure that you put a central mark. Just measure the width from the collar here to the sleeve and then just find halfway and find the center so when you position your ribbon bar it's nice and central to the uniform just like this one okay right we're going to go on to the next stage we've marked uh, where the ribbon bars got to go on the uniform so we're just going to start sewing the ribbon bar on if you don't know how to sew the ribbon bar on, um, obviously I'll give you instructions now, but you can go look at other videos that I've done for sewing these ribbon bars on. So basically we've got our ribbon bar here ready to go on. So we're gonna use the top line of the chalk mark as a guide for the ribbon bar. So it's going to go central to the mark because we marked it centrally out. So first thing to do is just put a couple of pins through the uniform just to catch the lining so the lining doesn't move when you're sewing. Because if it moves and you catch it, it can make it untidy on the inside of the uniform. So it's always best to be 
nice and tidy there as well as the outside as well as the inside of the uniform so that's just going to hold the lining in place so we get the ribbon bar put it central to the chalk mark and then we've i've just threaded up a needle it's double thread if you look at my other videos it shows you how to thread a needle up with two strands of thread and waxed it i've waxed it and put a knot on the end so we're going to basically start the bottom right hand corner of the ribbon bar to hold it in place so with your thumb and your fingers on the inside it's a bit tricky you just got to hold the ribbon bar like so and then come up at the bottom of the right hand side of the ribbon bar and pull your needle right through so i'm using sharp sharps needles they're the best needles for tailoring i'm using a medium sized needle you can use small but for this purpose i'm just using a medium sized one so i've come up at the right hand side of the ribbon and then i'm just going to go back through to the inside of the uniform so these are going to be holding stitches you can put two in to start to hold it in place. You could put three in if you want to. Two should be enough. Like I say, the trick of putting these ribbon bars on females' uniforms is to keep stopping and checking that it's not slanting and it's straight. And it's so easy to put these ribbon bars on slanted and not straight. So what I say to do is when you start coming along your ribbon bar is stop, hang it back up on the hanger and then just look at it and just make sure that it is horizontal and straight. If you wanted to with the longer bars, what I have done in the past is you can once you've got your starting stitches in and it's been held in position is you can just pin the other end of the bar if you just go through the material and just push it in gently like so it holds it in place by the way guys be careful if you're using anything sharp scissors needles pins just be careful as you're going along that you don't hurt yourself or stab yourself so i'm just going to keep carrying on going along putting some stitches in so i've just gone along about three millimeters you go through the back of the ribbon and then come out of the top of the ribbon make sure you catch the actual top of the ribbon and then that'll hold it flat to the uniform when you go back in to the uniform so i'll put one more stitch in and then i'm going to hang it back up and just check to make sure that it's nice and straight in a horizontal position it's the same detail guys if you're doing a two or three or four ribbon bar same process it's just that this is a one ribbon bar so I'm going to take that pin out, I'm going to hang it up and I'm going to have a look to see if it's straight. OK, so I've hung that up and you can actually see now that that is going to look straight once that uniform's been put on and being worn. So basically, if the ribbon bar was sort of angling down a bit, you just readjust and make sure that you get it straight put it into the position where it's straight like i say you can see by rock of eye whether the ribbon bar is not straight it just stands out a mile then you can readjust and that's the same as if it's a two three or four bar when you're going along sewing it keep stopping every so often like once you've got the two ribbons sewn on say with the four bar stop at that position hang it up and just see if it's straight so i'm pretty confident that's straight you can just see so i just thought i'd show you that just keep stopping and checking that it's straight 
Right, so I'm just checked that the bar's straight, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to carry on sewing. So I'm just going to come along another few millimetres along the ribbon and then back through the back of the ribbon. Make sure, like I say, you catch the top of the ribbon of the ribbon bar. So when you go back into the uniform, it pulls it nice and flush and flat to the top. I think you put about, I don't know, nine stitches in maybe, 10 stitches. As you're going across, I never count them. Just whatever feels right. But every sort of three or four millimetres is suffice. And it'll be anchored down really firmly. I do like this platinum ribbon, by the way, guys. It's not really nice. It represents all three of the Jubilee medals, by the way, if you didn't know. The outside edges, the silver edges for the silver, the blue for the golden in the centre, and then the red stripes represent the diamond Jubilee. So it's really nice that they've incorporated all the colours into this platinum Jubilee ribbon bar. So I'm coming to the end now. I'm going to put a couple of stitches in the end just to hold it down when you come to the end make sure you actually come right to the end of the ribbon and it holds the extreme edges down smartly and then they won't be sticking out so i'm going to put one more stitch right in the outside of this ribbon now Like I say, the key to this, especially if you've got more ribbons, is keep stopping, hanging it up and just checking that it's not slanting and it's still straight and then make your adjustments as you go along. And then hopefully you'll end up with a straight bar. Right, I've put a stitch right on the end there now. Excellent. Right, so I'm just going to come back into the ribbon a bit just to put a couple more stitches in. And then I'm going to sew off on the inside of the jacket. So there's one stitch. And there's two stitches. Right, so I'm going to go into the inside of the jacket and tie off now, guys. So I've shown you on previous videos how to tie off, but I'll show you again. All you do is pick a couple of millimetres of the lining up, like so, wrap your thread around the needle two or three times, then pull gently and it anchors a knot so it ties it off. You can do it twice if you want to, just to double, make sure it won't come undone. And then you just snip it off. Okay, so I'll quickly show you how to do the metal loops as well. I've got a video an in-depth video on how to do metal loops but seeing as I'm doing this now I might as well just quickly show you again so I'm just going to put a knot on the end of my thread it's double thread it's waxed I'm using sharps needles as well they're the best needles to use so I've just made a couple of marks where my loops are going to go the loops are to hold the medals on so I'm going to come from the inside of the uniform at the bottom of that mark I'm going to come out <clears throat> about three millimeters four millimeters above that point I'm going to go back into the uniform very important to use thread that actually matches the uniform so you can't actually see them very well if you've not got your medals on so they're quite invisible to the uniform you don't want them standing out like a sore thumb if he's using bright colours or what have you. So I've put three stitches in there. I used to do two, but I've moved on from that and I do three now. It just makes them stronger, less likely to fray over the years or come loose or break. So I put three stitches in there. Now I'm going to come back up at the bottom here. Hope that's focused. And then all we do is put the needle underneath the thread, the stitches there. You can see you can move the needle up and down 
then all you do, it's really simple, is just put the thread round the needle and pull it. And all it does is create a knot. So all you do is a chain of knots. It's like a bridge of knots. So normally about five or six knots you put in. All my loops are just slightly different sizes each time by maybe a millimetre or half a millimetre. There's no exact measurements for it. The main thing is they work. So I'm happy with that now. So I'm just going to go back into the inside of the uniform. And then we can actually tie that loop off. I don't always tie them off. I can go straight on to the next one. But if you want to be really careful and secure, make sure it don't come undone. Just tie off a holding stitch there. And then you can move on to the next loop so same as before i'm going to put three stitches in i haven't got loads of thread left i think i've got enough to do it it's always a danger of the thread pulling out the needle when you don't have enough thread but i think i've just got enough so I've put my three stitches in there, same detail, come up at the bottom, just make sure that you can get the needle underneath all the three stitches like so, put the thread round the needle and then pull it and then make a bridge of knots and that becomes your metal loop. So that's two it's getting a bit tricky now because of the thread four five stitches there I'm going to go into the inside and then tie off and then it's done tie off just get a bit of lining wrap the thread around the needle a few times pull it tight and that's how you put metal loops on a uniform obviously if you've got a wider metal brooch you need to put more loops on there I've done a video explaining the widths and how to put them on so check that out if you want to and then to finish off I'm just going to grab the brush because you'll have chalk marks on the uniform and if you've been using wax on the thread if you brush it off it becomes very smart that's a great finish for a ribbon bar I'll just quickly show you it hanging up finish now With the um, female uniforms with these ribbon bars, it's always been difficult to know where to get them in the right position. But from my experience over the years, this is the best position for these ribbon bars. As when you like look at the whole uniform, it just looks in the right place. It's just a good position for these ribbon bars to go on. So it's, uh, I've never had no complaints, neither. Okay, guys, I've finished the ribbon bar now. You can see that looks really straight, so I'm really happy with that. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We'll be doing lots of tailoring jobs and different things. Information about British medals and British military. I do appreciate you watching it. So hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.